Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Julian. I'm here to do my reaction video for season one, episode four of House of the Dragon. This time, the title of the episode is King of the Narrow Sea. And we are here, we are back, and we're ready for another episode of House of the Dragon. So far, I have watched three episodes in the span of like a day. And it has, it, they have been glorious. Glorious. Mwah. I love them. And today, I'm going to try to do at least two. So next week, I do five more. And then I will be caught up and ready for <laughs> uh, for the uh, for the season two premiere. You know? So, yes. I am excited. I'm really excited. And I hope you guys are as, as excited as I am to watch me react to a new episode of House of the Dragon. Uh, previous episode. Well... Damon is a insane man, crazy one, okay, and uh, he just decided to uh, go off and kill the crab feeder, right, on his own, and he did it. <laughs> well, mostly he did it, uh, but the plan that the other that the kid created uh, actually worked. Uh, but yeah. Uh, back in Westeros or Westeros or whatever you want to pronounce it, uh, Rhaenyra is uh, now free to look for whoever she wants to marry, and her father Viserys, the king, has not uh, changed her as her heir, right? But he can get mad the next day, and then you know because that's the same. Thing he did with Damon. So, we'll see. I'm excited to watch this episode. I hope you guys are as excited as I am to watch me react to this one, King of the Narrow Sea. Hope you guys enjoy. Thumbs up if you love House of the Dragon. Subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. Uncut reaction is always posted first on Patreon. I'm a couple of episodes. Well, actually, I just posted episode one today on, pa on YouTube. And now I'm, I'm posting episode four and episode five, so uh, I am I am a, a bit ahead. So by the time this is posted on YouTube, probably I'm a couple of episodes ahead, or about to finish season one. So in case you guys want to check check it out and be ahead and you know follow along also when I react to season two. You can do that by joining my Patreon link on the description down below. And for now, that's about it. Without further ado, let's just begin with Season 1, Episode 4 of House, House of the Dragon. Here we go. <laughs> Are these the suitors for her? Did you think my great-grandmother is beautiful, as they say? This was half a century ago, princess. Yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> no! I'm a child. <laughs> my princess, if chosen as your match, princess, your day shall be easy and night safe under my protection. Aw, that's kind of cute. The princess has a dragon, you dumb cunt. Okay, can you <laughs> shut the fuck up? Dragon. Oh. Oh. Can they stop he this nonsense? Oh. Oh. To the boys like I just killed the man. Take him. Oh. That's Damon, right? Hello. <laughs> Did he make himself a crown? And he cut his hair. Add it to the chair. Okay. Were you not queen of king of that? But I know that there is only one true king, your grace. Oh. What are you planning, you bitch? I don't trust him. Oh, such a cute moment. We would care for a tour of the gallery. He hasn't yet seen the new tapestries gifted to you by Norris and Cahor. Would you like to see the tapestry? <laughs> I don't think he would like to see the tapestry. Oh, Alicent! Stop he it! He has no interest in such things. I'd like to see them. 
Uh -huh. Oh, well, then you should not deprive yourself. I think he has to return with a purpose. He knows that she has to marry. Oh, you gave birth. I surmise the tour did not go well. They only want my name in my Valyrian blood for their offspring. I think it's rather romantic. What? Prisoned in a castle of me to squeeze out to heirs. Oh. This is exactly what it was done to her. Oh, you guys made up. Okay. I'm glad they patch things up. Yeah, exactly. My father seems content to sell me off to whichever lord is the biggest castle. There are worse things to be sold for. Yeah, how about not being sold? At all. <laughs> oh, you had a daughter? Can you not shake her like that? Good night, Sir Kristen. Sleep well, princess. Do you sleep? What are those? What? what? There's a secret passage in your room? And who's saying you that? Damon? Oh! Those were clothes so you can dress as a common person. Hello! <laughs> he called me boy. Wish to know your death, child? No, thank you! <laughs> Aren't you worried that it might be contagious? What is it that he has? A girl! His heir! Oh. Oh. A son! He has two things Rhaenyra cannot. A conqueror's name and a, and a cock. cock. <laughs> four Copper Street rat in King's Landing we pay for our pleasures. Hey, stop! Boy! Wait, I'll find him. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you poisoning him? Oh no. Oh, okay. I thought she was about to poison him or something. And who might you be running from now? It's the Hobbit. Princess, you take care, boy. Next time you might not be so lucky. Enjoyed that, did you? Oh. Who knows when our next taste freedom? <laughs> Why? Me, your grace, the king has requested your presence. Oh, they don't sleep together in the same bed. It's quite late. Yes, your grace. Ew. Ew. Yeah. Oh, Alison, that's just so fucked up, you know. Why have you brought her here? Are they? Of course, of course they are. <gasps> yes. Kind of fucked up, right? I mean, he is her uncle. <gasps> what the fuck? Damon? Can he not get it up? Or, or what? A little burp? <laughs> I was watching the door? <laughs> what is she doing? Okay. I think she learned her lesson of freedom. And it did seem like she liked him. And I'm way less uncomfortable with this. I love the fact that she's the one undressing him. How many layers of clothes do you guys did he had? Well, that was rather quick. This will cut the fog. Oh. I need protection from a common whore. I'm not so common. I'm not so common whore then. Ah, this bitch. My I God! Have considered saying nothing, but what has she done? Yeah, right, right. You have considered saying nothing. You pay for that. The princess was spied last evening. Damon and Rhaenyra were seen together in the bowels of a pleasure den. This is a lie. You have been lied to. 
Is her sick with ambition that you would have my daughter stalked, spied upon, awaiting your best chance to destroy her reputation? Yeah. I have yes. No such intent. Yes, you do, bitch. You yourself a cunning man. What happened last night? That you fucked David in a pleasure house. Right. You Targaryens do have queer customs. <laughs> he took me to a show. So you did not. Wait, are you jealous? Damon never touched me. Oh, I swear this to you upon the memory of my mother. Ooh! The king demands an audience, my friend. <sighs> Take your fucking hands off me. <laughs> He really is drunk. I need to understand the charge before I can attempt to discredit it. <laughs> you defiled her. Oh. Well, he didn't, actually. <laughs> Better first experience be with me than some whore. Oh, <laughs> you're not helping! What lord will wed her now in this condition? You are the dragon. Your word is truth. Sure. To me. What? When I offered up my crown, you said I could have anything. I want Rhaenyra. You are already wed. It is, isn't it? Go back to the veil, Damon. Strive to restore whatever scrap of honor remains in you. As you wish, brother. <laughs> His I don't give a fuck attitude is what I kind of like. How does confessing to such things serve him? To spy you. By reducing you. She swore to me that she remains a maiden. And I believe her. I really hope you don't get pregnant, though. That dagger. Oh my god. Nice to long to egg on the Conqueror. The last of the Valyrian pyromancers hid his song in the steel. The truth does not matter, Rhaenyra. Oh, it Only doesn't. Perception. Your courtship is at an end. You will wed Selene or Valarian. So I can be a remedy for your political headaches. You are my political headache. <laughs> What will you do about the vulture who perches upon your throne? What vulture? Your hand. Yeah, exactly. I will do my duty as heir. And with Selene. That's good. Do you want to be the How first? How long did it take you to choose yourself over your king? Your grace. No, oh, you're offended. I will never recover from Emma's death. Hmm. You were a faithful servant, Toto. You're no longer the hand. Woo -hoo -hoo! Good! But I can no longer trust your judgment. Good. What's that? I took great care in its preparation. Ah. Oh. So she can have a miscarriage in case she actually did. Okay, guys. So that was the end of season one, episode four of House of the Dragon. This episode, uh, titled King of the Narrow Sea. Uh, title after Damon Targaryen, uh, who was named King of the Narrow Sea after um, he won the battle with against the crab feeder and the whatever, right? So um, he returns to the city, uh, not before Rhaenyra is having a. <laughs> Uh, kind of like swipe left or right, <laughs> but in the, like the old way, choosing uh, a suitor, which to her is like more men that only want her title, you know, and only want to further their line. Um, they have no interest on her, really, you know. So she's not playing this game. This was organized by her dad. And I don't know. I think that he was in the hopes that what well, she did she match with one of them. Highly doubted. And we have been feeling the tension between her and and what's his face, uh, Lord. Ah, uh, Chris, Kristen, Kristen, right? Uh, the one that is the guard, right? Um, and uh, I, um, you know, she decides n not to continue. She walks away from it and returns to uh, King's Landing in the exact moment when uh, Damon arrives, right? He comes here and he's like, 
he, he won uh, the the crown the the battle for the king and offers him you know all the cities all like the part of the you know the the battle that he won for the crown and he's been playing nice right but of course he has his um his how can i say it uh his ulterior motives right he knows that Renera is right up for grabs right and so she is he's here not so much to make peace with his brother but rather to be one of the suitors and so he offers Renera that has a very enclosed life due to the fact that she's she's the princess uh, offers her a view into the world right um something that she has not done before uh she was called a boy you know as well it kind of reminded me a bit of aria um when she was out and about um and the thing is that um then he actually makes a move um a move that isn't is is welcome by rainera um but Damon knows how far he can go, you know, with with her. He knows if he actually has sex with her, he can claim to have sex with her, uh, and not actually have done it. Um, but uh, uh, just to plant that seed in his brother's head is enough for him, right? I I don't like so far. It, like, we have seen him having, you know, he allegedly has a wife uh, that we have not seen, you know, who he has not go back to uh, or father a son uh, with, you know, as is expected. And sex, though, he does engage in it. Sometimes he feels like he's not truly enjoying it. Right? Um, and this time, once again, I think that it was just part of his plan. People needed to believe, you know, uh, that that people needed to believe that he had sex with her. And uh, like he brought he brought her into a brothel. He takes off like the cap. People needed to recognize who they were. People needed to know, so the little birds, though there are no name like that uh, here, can go to the hen and tell them that they saw them there, and they did. That part is not a lie. Uh, the fact that they were in in the brothel is not a lie either. Uh, the fact that they have sex, it is a lie, because um, they did not. They kissed. They were touchy touchy, but uh, uh, nothing happened. Uh, now, Rhaenyra's, Rhaenyra and Alicent seem closer now than they did on previous episodes. Apparently, time has passed, you know, uh, and they are getting along a little bit better. They're back to being friendly with one another. Um, and I feel like Alicent is still, you know, it's, it's very na naive, even though she is, she has been put in this position you know, by her father uh, to be the queen. I mean, women are like that. And I think that in some part of her, she envies the fact that, um, not in a bad way, but in like a way of like envies the fact that Rhaenyra has the freedom of choosing because she never had that freedom. She was meant to be with the king and like she's still, you know, he's all crippled and like with wounds and like two fingers missing and all of that. And she... Still has to fuck him, you know, uh, at whatever hour he pleases, and he's not. She's nothing but that. She has some type of power, but she doesn't really right now uh, understands that power as like. Do you remember that scene with with Cersei and Littlefinger when they talk about pa power? 
and Littlefinger is knowledge is power and Cersei's power is power, right? That scene is so fucking good. Um, but Alicent is nothing like her. Like, she's young yet. She's still young. You know, Cersei, I bet, did not become as bitter as she was. Uh, you know, because she did say at one time that she did intended to love Robert, right? Um, and it did not happen because he was just thinking about Lyanna. Um, and the thing is that um, um, Alicent is so different. You know, Alicent, I feel, truly cares about Rian R Rhaenyra. Um, I feel like she does want what's best for her. You know, she has no intentions of, like, putting ideas in his husband's head to make Aegon the king instead of Rhaenyra. Like, she's not there to to mess up, you know, uh, with Rhaenyra, Rhaenyra's life, you know, and what what is left of her family. For Rhaenyra, what was left of his family was only her father, Viserys. Her and her two, his, his, well, Aegon and the other little girl, I think it was a little girl, um, half-siblings of Rhaenyra, yes, but, um... They are not, like, she's not pushing that in his head, right? And she could. She has, she does manage to uh, whisper a lot of things and tell him a lot of things. Uh, and he does things that she, you know, uh, tells him and advises him. But I feel like she does that in, like, I'm advising you. And like I have said, Viserys is very, very... Uh, uh, um, uh, you can manipulate him very well, very easy. You know, Otto has been doing it for such a long time. And he has now realized, you know, that from the get-go, he has served two kings, but how he got into power. And I do love that because, like I have said, he does remind me a bit to Lord Baelish, Right, and he kind of is establishing the whole birds and like the rumors and things like that. And Viserys, in this opportunity, he did the right thing by by you know taking the the the, the hand position from him because like he had no problem following her because he wants someone from his bloodline to be on the Iron Throne, right? And Aegon is that. For him, right? And thankfully, this is the first time I feel that Viserys... Not the first time, but, you know, the more direct one. That he, Viserys is like, this is my daughter, you know, and you will respect her. Like, not going around listening to whispers and things like that. Because ultimately, all of it wasn't true, right? So how many other things have been whispered to him by the, the little birds uh, that uh, at the end of the day, he might have add a few things. He, he might have taken uh, a few others and add things on his own, you know? So, yeah. Still, he stood by his daughter and by what his daughter told him, but the fact that the uh, tea he sends uh, to Rhaenyra at the end is because... At the end of the day, he doesn't truly, fully trust her. You know, uh, he might trust her to a degree, but he has his brother, who he does know he lies. Um, but there's certain truths there. There are half truths, you know. And the dad sends her the uh, the tea in a kind of. I don't actually believe you, but if you have nothing to worry about, just drink the tea, you know, kind of way, which is kind of like saying, I actually do not trust you. You know what I mean? So I felt bad for her, but at the same time, it's kind of a relief because she did end up having sex with the uh, kin's guard, right? Um, they have been like, you know, looks and whatever, but he's not supposed to 
wed anyone. He's not supposed... I don't know if he's supposed to be celibate, though. I don't know. He's a man. At the end of the day, rules can bend for men. Sadly, at that time, you know. So, um... But, of course, they were not gonna bend to the point of, like, Oh, yeah, I fucked the princess. I wanna marry her. Like, that was not gonna happen. He doesn't come from, like, a powerful house or anything like that. Like, nah, I really hope she took the team. <laughs> um, anyway, so, um, of course, Damon's true plan was to have Rhaenyra be wed to him instead of anyone else in the kingdom. Because he does believe that uh, he's a better suitor. And because at the end of the day, he will get to sit in the Iron Throne as well, right? As king regent is, is that allowed or will he like be named king and he will make the decisions or whatever because i don't know but either way now allegedly allegedly i say because i wouldn't know until it happens renera is going to marry sir lord corliss son that we have met on the battle before he's he, they're gonna marry, and in that way, they're finally gonna unite the two Valyrian houses. Um, I honestly, I will love to see like the the Targaryen tree. I will love to see it, um, just because I want to find out where is it that my girl Daenerys comes from. Um, but yeah, this was a very interesting episode. Not so much war and things like that, but a lot of politics, a lot of like. Game of Thrones drama that we love. Um, and yeah, it was a it was a really good episode. My bones are hurting. Do you understand that it's winter here and I'm with the AC on? <laughs> All of this because I, I love this show and I want to watch one more episode, but I don't know if my bones will take it. Ah! Anyways, uh, like I said, I loved this episode. I loved it. I think it was great. I think it was strong. Um, episode three, so far, is my favorite, uh, because of the battle. That was just an incredible battle. Uh, but I cannot wait to see more and what they have in store for us. It's gonna be crazy, I bet. Uh, but I'm so happy that, uh, that Otto Hightower is no longer the hen of the queen, the king, I'm sorry. Um, who will be the next hen? I wonder. Anyways, for now, that's it. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys continue to support for more. I am loving this series. Honestly, loving this series so much. Uh, I maybe will able to... to I'm going to bring like a something to cover myself up because it's so cold here. Um, but yeah, I, I so want to watch episode 5 right now, which is titled We Light the Way. We'll see what that episode has in store for us. Um, but yeah, I cannot wait to watch it. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys continue supporting for more. Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Uh, subscribe, comment, hit notification bell. Un bell, uncut reaction, extended version. Uh, it's posted on Patreon in case you guys want to check that out. Link as always will be in the description down below. Uh, low key, also on this episode, I kind of felt like Allison was kind of jelly when she was like, "Did you fuck Damon? Tell me the truth." I don't feel like she has. She views Rhaenyra as a motherly figure or anything like that. They were friends, you know. They're almost the same age. I feel like Allison might be like a year or two older than her, but that's it. And so I, I, I just I have a feeling between them. But yeah, anyways, that's it. Uh, oh, God. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all the support. I'll see you guys next time for more reaction videos for House of the Dragon. That's it. Mwah. Bye, guys.